Alright, hey everybody, and welcome to part 2 of my BFDIA prediction as of BFDIA 6. And ever since Teapot 7 came out, I started to forget a little bit of BFDIA right now, because it's been on the lip- it's already on the lips. It's not on the lips anymore since Teapot 7 came out, so... But I'll try. So, Team No Name loses the challenge this time, and, uh... Okay, I think it's obvious that either Fiery Gelatin or Tone Spa would get the prize, uh, and, okay, I don't even need to, to tell you guys the elimination order, actually, okay, I think the order would be between just Tennis Ball or Gelatin or whatever, just, just let me know what you think, what you think should have gotten the prize and be able, and be the first one safe now, yeah. the second one safe, okay, so, I'd say, okay, the bottom two are Fiery and Fries. Fiery is here because he already won season one, and, and uh, the viewers would find it kind of unfair, kind of unfair if he won again. And Fries is here because people consider him mean for some reason, and and I'm not sure if that's true. But the last one, but um, I I forgot. And he like, I mean, he called Rocky dead weight, but I didn't care. I think Fries is is still good. Well, everyone else on Team No Name is pretty good. Everyone on Team No Name is pretty good, so it doesn't really matter. So, but anyways, the last one, I forgot what I was going to say. Anyways, the last one safe is Fiery, because I suspect that Fiery might be liked, because it's pretty obvious that that Fiery is liked more, meaning that Fry's, meaning that Fry's is eliminated, leaving us with our final 12, which means, yeah, literally. Okay, so it all starts off, so I decided to pick random, so random, just some random contestants to win immunity, so I decided to start this off with my, my sixth favorite from this alternative timeline, and these are my sixth, and uh, let me just add this category first, yeah, I just, I did that first, but these are my six favorites from this alternative timeline, so I'll have them safe, um, sorry if that's a little biased, but, but look, I, it's just an experiment, okay? I just wanted to see what would happen, but that means Bombi, Book, Gelatin, Ice Cube, Needle, and Nickel are up for elimination. Okay, so, um, the first one, I think, I think Gelatin might get the prize, and then the order would be Book, Gelatin, Ice Cube, then, then Needle, which leaves the bottom two between Bombi and Nickel, but I'm not sure, but... I, I'm not, I don't think I have a reason for these two to be in the bottom two. I just have a gut feeling that they're going to be in the bottom two. But I think the last one safe is Bombay because he had new lines and, um, never mind. Because Bombay and, I think Bombay had new lines, but Nickel didn't do much at that time. So, so, okay. Now we have 11 left. Okay, the rest are picked randomly. So the contestants winning unity are... Bombi, Coiny, Needle, Teardrop, and Tennis Ball. Okay, but remember, these are just picked randomly now. And this is episode... We are now on to episode 15. So, either Book, Fiery, Gelatin, Ice Cube, Pin, or Ruby will get out here. So... I personally think Ruby will win the prize. I think I think Ruby might win the prize. And I think the order, order will go by Ruby... Gelatin, Book, and then Fiery. And bottom two are Ice Cube and Pin. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut to the chase this one. For this one. Pin is definitely more was definitely definitely more popular in this timeline in this timeline. In this timeline. Was definitely more popular in this timeline. Meaning that Ice Cube is eliminated. Now we're on to episode 16. Final 10, nice. So, um, the, the five contestants winning, winning immunity this time are Bombi, Pitten, Ruby, Teardrop, and Tennis Ball. Meaning that the, the rest of, the rest are up for elimination. I think Buck would win the prize this time, so, but, hey, look. Look, uh, look, this it may, may not be 100% accurate, not all of it might happen, but look, look, some of it could happen, who knows, but anyway, 
the elimination order, it would be like Jolton, then Book, then Coiny, which means that Fiery and Needle are our bottom two. Fiery is here because he already won a season and I'm not sure why Needle's here. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm just kidding because the others are more popular than her. I think the other others are more popular than her, which might result into this being Fari's last time surviving a bottom two. So, Needle is eliminated. Okay, so, episode 17, final nine. So, this time, Book, Coiny, Fiery, and Gelatin win immunity. Crazy how Bami won, won the immunity immunity twice in a row so I have two drum tennis ball as well that happened before so it doesn't really matter either way but okay so bombi pin ruby two drop and tennis ball are all up for elimination i think ruby would definitely win a prize seeing as she's like i think she has the biggest potential well i think the i think we can immediately rule her out as well along with teardrop and tennis ball which means that Bombi and Pin are on bottom two, but I'm just gonna cut to the chase to the, for this one as well because Pin is definitely way more popular than Bombi, so Bombi is eliminated, leaving us with our final eight. So th this could get a bit more tricky because they're all very popular, but surprise, surprise, it's time for. It's time for a rejoin. That's right. Episode 18, we're having a rejoin from here. And I think that lucky rejoiner would be Bubble. Because Bubble, well, wasn't really an official contestant. So I feel like the viewers, if Bubble could count, the viewers, the viewers would probably want to see what would happen if Bubble was actually an official contestant in BFDIA. So I thought it would make sense if Bubble actually rejoined this time, this time, and actually competed for once. Well, this pushes us back to our, our final nine. But this is the end of part two of my BFDIA prediction, as of BFDIA six. But still, thanks for watching, and um, okay. I did my best, okay? I did my best. So, um, yes, Bubble rejoined. But, okay, spoiler alert, in the next part, I might do a double, a special double. Uh, and interestingly enough, I think for part two, I could do a double rejoin for the final rejoin, just for fun, because, uh, Either one of those two, those two could be likely candidates to rejoin. So, um, I'm gonna leave it off here, cause, okay, so, that's the end of part two. Uh, yeah, I mentioned it, of BFDI, my BFDIA prediction as of BFDIA 6, but hopefully I finish this before BFDIA 7 comes out, but I, I, I think I most likely will, but we'll just have to see for the future, for the future, but these are the remaining contestants, but still, thanks for watching, part three coming eventually, if I can, whenever, okay, so part three coming when, whenever I have the time to do it, as long as BFDIA 7 doesn't come out before it, alright, bye.